Hey there, it's Christine Garvin and welcome to day one of my menstrual cycle, aka day one of my period. And so I was thinking this week it would be great to do a quick EFT session on menstrual cramps because this is a very common thing that a lot of women deal with. Um, I'm actually okay at the moment, but I will deal with a little bit of um, cramping sometimes on usually day one. You know, it can kind of come in to let me know my, my menstruation has arrived. Um, and you know, it can kind of maybe creep in if I've, um, if I overeat or something like that. So of course there's many different ways that we need to approach menstrual cramps that aren't, um, simplified to get into during this video. So this video is really about just taking the nervous system aspect of it and just kind of calming down your nervous system as you are, um, expelling this blood and going through this process of sort of detoxification from your uterus, right? So let's go ahead and start tapping. You can do left hand or right hand, doesn't matter. And take a nice deep breath in. And let it out. Let's do it again. Nice deep breath in. And let it out. And go ahead and repeat after me. Even though I'm cramping right now, my stomach feels really bad, don't feel like doing anything, and I just want my whole reproductive area to feel better, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Even though I'm riding these waves of cramps going up and down like I'm surfing and all I want is for them to go down and go away, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. I know that I'm frustrated I have to deal with menstrual cramps. I know that sometimes it's a part of being a woman and it feels really unfair. It's something that so many of us women have to deal with at one point or another and it takes away from my daily life. Even though all of this is true, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. I know that there are things that I can do to help support my body to not have as bad of cramps. I know that how I eat throughout the month, if I'm getting enough fish oil, and other things that are calming to my system and are anti-inflammatory, that that can help to not have as bad of cramps. I know that there are certain things that I can do right now, including putting a heating pad on my stomach, taking some natural anti-inflammatories, or even utilizing ibuprofen will help. Even though it's frustrating, I have to do all these things to calm my re reproductive system down. I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. I know that my body responds to my environment to my daily decisions, to what I allow in my life and what I keep out of my life. And that there are so many ways that I can support my body to feel its best. I know that sometimes things can feel completely out of my control and I maybe don't always make the best decision for my body or my menstrual cycle at the moment, and that that's okay. 
I know that partly my body is just calling me to take a break, to take some rest without guilt, without feeling like I need to be out there doing all of the things all of the time, because that's not how my body is set up to thrive. Even though I know all these things and don't always follow them, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. I allow my body to do what it needs to do. I give it the support that it needs in order to process everything that has built up throughout the month and let it release out during this time. I sit in fascination of my body's abilities to constantly build a space in my uterus to set up for a new life and then to break that down, that space down and get rid of not only what has been built up, but lots of other things that I don't need in my body any longer. It's truly a beautiful process of ebb and flow that I'm lucky to experience. I know that the more that I allow my body to be and do what it needs to, the less pain I will experience. I know that there's so many parts of myself that I continue to work on. And as I do that, I will experience less pain. I know that in giving myself the time and the space and providing my body with what it needs, it will thank me in return. So I choose myself. I choose my body. I choose my reproductive system. I choose to love it, support it, be kind to it, ask it what it needs and give it in return. I breathe deep to release any emotions that are caught up in the cycle of feeling menstrual cramps or of having a hard period. Because I know emotions tied up in it can make things worse and releasing them can make things better. Thank you, body, for all that you do for me every single day. And I believe that I can get better, stronger, and have less pain. And I believe this in mind, body, and spirit. Release it out. Breathe. So hopefully if you know that you get cramps and you can do this before those cramps kick in, it can be really helpful and then go take care of your body in all the ways that you know you need to. All right, I'll see you next time.